So you've set up your new Epson printer and are ready to get printing with Onyx. Unfortunately, Onyx doesn't have the profiles needed to get the best color possible out of your printer. If only there were an online resource that you could go to to get this information. Well, Epson and Onyx have teamed up uh, with a one solution. Let's take a look. I'm Bob Miller, Color Services Manager for IT Supplies, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most out of the resources available on the Epson Edge dashboard interface with Onyx. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend watching my previous video on setting up Epson Edge dashboard. The following tips will help you connect your Onyx to the Epson Edge dashboard so that your profiles will automatically sync. Let's take a look. So to start off, I'm actually in Epson Edge dashboard, and we have the printer that we're going to work with right here. This is the Epson S8600L. I'm going to go ahead and go into that printer. Here we can see that we're actively connected, um, and we're going to go to Media Settings, and this is where the synchronization happens. Epson has a library in the cloud uh, that they've worked on with multiple manufacturers to help you uh, download and integrate profiles for different medias. So to do this, let's go ahead and click on the little cloud link that we have here. Okay, for the media vendor right now, I'm just gonna choose 3M and I'm going to hit search. All right, so I can see the ones that are acquired over on the right by status, and I can see the ones that are not acquired. So let's do this ER500. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that media, and down here, I'm gonna click on download. So it's going to download, and now I can close this screen. And over here, we're now gonna see the ER, 3M ER500 uh, on the left side of our screen. So. What we want to do is we want to put that into the target area on the printer. So this will be one of the media selections on the front panel of the printer. So to do that, we select it on the left and then we click on the arrow and we're going to put it in slot 14. So I'm going to click on this arrow, execute copy, and now click on apply. Changes have been applied, so that media setting is now on the machine. Okay, so how do we get the profile to sync up? Let's go to Onyx and see how that's done. So on Onyx, we're gonna go to our S8600L printer, and we're going to go to Configure Printer, and it's gonna open up a dialog box you might be tempted to click on the media tab, but that's not where we're going right now. So we're gonna click on device and we're gonna click on features. And we're gonna click on global printer options and the configure button. Here, this is where the Epson Edge dashboard synchronization happens. The first thing is you wanna make sure you have your serial number entered correctly and populated. Make sure you do not have this button enabled. So this is disable the Epson Edge dashboard. We want it enabled, so we're gonna make sure that's unchecked. Now we can have automatic synchronization. Um, so you can set that up right here, um, but also you can manually go ahead and synchronize. So if we wanna look at synchronize register or select registered medias, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see the 3M ER500 media. So we're not doing white or metallic silver, so I'm just going to select the first one here. So that is the Epson or the 3M adhesive vinyl ER500. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit done. And now I can hit OK here. All right. So the server is restarting for Onyx. That's why we have these red lights here. Now it's back. If I go to this particular media and I click here, you should see, if 
everything has been done correctly, we should see a drop down and we should see the 3M and we should see down here, the ER500. So now the ER500 media is available with the different print modes and the profile uh, will be automatically configured to go with these different print modes. So hopefully this has been helpful in having you connect your Onyx solution to your Epson Edge software. So I hope you viewers will take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And when it comes to printing and color management, IT Supplies is here to help your business succeed.